Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Gundel. I'm one of the resident orthopedic surgeons at Seattle Children's Hospital, the University of Washington, and Harborview Medical Center. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about some resources available on the internet for learning about orthopedic surgery as well as the treatment of musculoskeletal pathology. Like these videos, there is now a wide-ranging uh, information available through the internet to help us in learning about and in treating patients with musculoskeletal conditions. This really has been a game-changing amount of opportunity not only to access information but also to interact with communities of providers and patients to help you in learning and treating about these conditions. Therefore, I'd like to introduce you to some websites that can be helpful for orthopedic surgeons, allied healthcare providers, as well as patients. I hope that these can be helpful to you in learning and getting an introduction to some of the many resources that are available on the internet. Alright, so I'm going to introduce a few websites, the first of which is orthoinfo.org. This website is created by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons and is specifically for uh, patient education. So uh, if you of your patients are having uh, questions about certain procedures or they're in their clinic and you want them to leave with some additional information, this is a great website to go to. Uh, I would like to particularly point out the interactive learning modules about common surgeries such as uh, joint replacement, carpal tunnel release, uh, but then also point out a variety of health centers uh, and it also goes by anatomic areas of the body uh, and so we frequently will find information from this website, print it out and give it, with our, give it to our patients as they leave the clinic. I uh, found that very helpful. Uh, one nice thing is that because all this information is vetted by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, uh, you don't have to worry with each article uh, about its relative uh, merits uh, compared to some other sites. Another useful uh, patient uh, education website is put on by the Mayo Clinic. Uh, this is not just about orthopedics, but they have uh, sites uh, for many common conditions. I pulled up osteoarthritis, and it goes through definitions, symptoms, causes, risk factors, uh, as well as potential treatments, uh, and, and uh, other information. Again, uh, with the Mayo Clinic, all of this is vetted by their staff, uh, and therefore you, you, uh, it's a nice place uh, to refer patients to uh, as they go for additional uh, information online. Uh, if we're talking about websites for orthopedic surgeons or people in training, uh, I'm a great fan of the website OrthoBullets. Uh, it's a relatively new website, but it's really changed uh, the game uh, for orthopedic uh, preparation, especially for residents and other people preparing for certification exams. Uh, its big feature uh, is a QBank of tons of questions uh, that reflect the orthopedic and training examination going back several years uh, and you can make the questions based off specialty you can tag questions uh, they've done some work in different ways of learning uh, so that you can take these tests and review re your results and this is a website that uh, many residents use uh, every day and you can really track your progress and prepare for whatever exam you have uh, as well as learn about a lot of uh, different topics uh, it's very outline based so if we wanted to look at uh, their website on compartment syndrome of the leg. Uh, it has a nice introduction, has this uh, bullet points, uh, particular things to remember, as well as associated questions. Uh, so this is really worth uh, checking out if you're uh, in training for orthopedics or looking forward to a certification exam or just looking for more information about a topic. Uh, another website that has a lot of great videos is ViewMedi. Uh, this is another site uh, likely for orthopedic uh, surgeons. Uh, there is a registration process, but it is free. Uh, and they have a great variety of actual videos of surgery and surgical technique, uh, as well as a growing collection uh, of, of lectures. I found this video uh, by Dr. Staggs on supracondylar humerus fractures, uh, which was very helpful, uh, and then they also have videos you can see over here, things about surgical exposures for distal humerus fractures, uh, and there's a real community uh, on this website for posting questions and comments, uh, which, which can be very uh, helpful if you, you can post your own questions or just see what the community is talking about. 
and finally, I don't think this would be complete without mentioning uh, the Global Help uh, website, which is producing these videos. Uh, there's an extensive uh, collection of uh, PDFs as well as videos that are available for uh, download and viewing uh, to help people really around the world uh, to get additional information about treating uh, pediatric orthopedic concerns. I hope that taking a look at these websites was helpful for getting a glimpse into the breadth of information that's available regarding orthopedics and musculoskeletal conditions on the internet. The internet is always changing, which is a great uh, resource because there are constantly new information and new technologies and new ways for us to learn and interact with each other. The only downside is that should I have made this video a few years ago, I probably would have shown a lot of different websites. And in a few years, there may be new opportunities available. So always be the look, on the lookout for new uh, and interesting websites and other ways via the internet for you to learn about orthopedics and musculoskeletal conditions. Thank you for watching.